All right, mate, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. As you may have seen recently in a video on myself and Alex's channel, uh, we've recently moved house again. Yes, we've now moved house five times in five years. It's getting ridiculous. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you uh, my new office, which we're in right now, which is very bare at the moment. We're gonna make it up. Me and my mate Lewis down there is gonna help out. And uh, we're gonna try and turn it into a new setup video sort of thing, showing you guys what my new setup's gonna be like. Um, this is our own house now. We bought it and uh, we're really excited for the future. Take a look at the video we made on the Spend Alex channel by clicking on the i button or looking in the description if you wanna see more around the house and stuff. We're gonna do a proper house tour soon. But this video is all about setting the new office up. And I've got some of the old favorites some of the things that have been involved in my sets before, but I've also got some new stuff which I've not shown anyone before, uh, including that thing on the wall there. What I'll do is, I'll tell you what, we'll get set up, we'll get all the stuff on the wall, and then I'll take you on a proper tour, show you everything we've got in here. But right now, I've just set up the GoPro. It's resting on here, and that's gonna do a little time lapse of what me and Lou get up to while we decorate the room. Let's go. Okay, I'm having a little break between uh, sorting out the stuff on the wall and I thought I'd show you a new thing we've added to the setup. These walkie-talkies, we actually use these for Hashtag United games. Um, but I noticed, obviously, I actually saw my little brother Saunders doing one of his videos. He's got his set up in his house with his mates and they talk to each other on walkie-talkies to get things done quicker. In the old house, me and Alex's office used to be back-to-back. -back, so we could just walk out and quickly, you know, check on each other or see if we need to update someone with some news, it'd be quite easy. Now, I'm upstairs, she's all the way down the bottom end of the house, over that way, so it's quite far, but walkie-talkies can be quite helpful, let's test them. Alex, do you copy? Over. Roger that. She said Roger. Um, how's everything down your end of the uh, house going well? Enjoy your lunch. Over. Roger. Sierra 1, 2, Tango. Copy that. Over. Walkie-talkies don't just help with the office either. Look, I've just realised I'm out of toilet paper. Alex, I'm out of toilet paper. Can you bring it up to me, please? Over. Oh dear. Coming up right now. Legend. Thank you very much. I had some really. I was just testing the system. The oh, system works. It works. The system yeah. works, yeah. I thought you'd be more angry than that. I'm angry? That I made you bring me toilet roll. Yeah, I didn't need I it. I never get angry. Okay. She must have known I was filming. She's always angry. Right, the next bit we've got to do is cover all this white with football stickers. We've started doing it for some of my leftover Euro 2016 swapsies. We've got loads more of them on the floor. But Lou just went out and got these. A load of uh, Premier League this year, 2017 stickers. We'll get them up there as well. We calculated to cover the whole wall, right? along the whole top, without anything on it, we needed 3,000 stickers. Obviously we're covering up a lot of the wall with these various bits and bobs, so maybe it's more about 2,000 to 1,500, but even with that big box of stickers there, I don't think I've got enough, so we might have to get some reinforcements at a later date. We'll see what we can do here, get the wall covered. Right, before we get any further, I think we should open one pack, see what we get, let's do it. First pack of this year's season, to be fair. Oh, 183. Who's 183? Ryan Giggs. Oh, it's a most Premier League assist. Okay, it's like a legend. Decent, I like that. 224 next. Jose Font. Okay, not bad. 292. <gasps> Deli Ali. We'll take him. Decent. Number eight. It's probably going to be a player for Bournemouth, is it? Oh, it's a shiny. Jack Wilshere star player, mate! One more, 86, I'm gonna guess and say it's a Everton player. Oh, it's part of Everton. I know my alphabet, people. Right, bit of an update. We've made some good progress, as you can see. We're almost out of stickers, though. We were gonna go out and get some more. However, there's been one minor complication. Don't know if you can see that, that is snow on our roof. The whole place is covered in it. Yep, that's right. The whole place is covered in snow. Um, we've had a lot of snowfall real quick. That is the garden absolutely covered in the stuff. The roads are chocolate block. The thing about England is as soon as it snows a tiny amount, everything goes to a standstill. We're not, we're not Canada, we're not Russia, we're not able to cope with this sort of snowfall. 
So the roads are a joke. Still coming down pretty fast as well. There's Joey. He has never been in the snow before. He doesn't even know what snow is. He's going to have his first ever snow experience later. He's got a clue. You looking forward to it, Joe? Yeah? Snowy, snowy Joey. The day I picked him up, for Alex it was snowing. Do you remember that on the Spin and Alex channel? Okay, we've got loads of bits done, lots still to do. The next piece of the puzzle was this bad boy. This is half of my actual seat from Upton Park, and I'm going to try and put it in the wall. Not so people can sit on it, because it won't be able to take the weight, but it will be there like the seat. Got the other half as well. Got to sort of screw it in though, got to work out how I'm going to do it. Okay, I'm sorry, 119, this is my seat and I'm about to put a hole in it, but it has to be done if I'm going to keep it on the, uh, on the wall. So let's try and do this without damaging it too much. Let's go about here, I say. <laughs> it's not plugged in. <laughs> Second take. Don't care taking my face off. <laughs> oh this my god. So um I can smell burning. It's indestructible. It literally is indestructible. <laughs> Has it made any mark at all? I've never seen anything like it. It goes through the wall. Why not go through this chair? Okay, we tried drilling through it. We haven't got the right drill bits. Um, it's unfortunate. It means I can't attach it to the wall, but it might be for the best because we've realised can just do this. Oh. It actually looks like the seat. Technically, you could sit on that now. Because yeah. I think so. Put it like that, and then I'll just move some of the bits that were on there down to there. I can still put some shelving in later on if I wanted to. Good. Okay, we ran out of stickers yesterday, as you know. It's time for some reinforcements. These bad boys contain 10 packs of stickers. It's 50 stickers in total <laughs> per thing. So, what do we need? Yesterday we've got four. Probably say we've got a lot of wall to do. Basically, gonna rinse them out. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's 70 packs. 35 quid. <laughs> That's 100 packs. It's going to cost 50 quid. It's worth it for a backdrop though. 50 quid well spent, I'd say. If it's not enough, I can always pop out and get some more. So do. They're in there. Think of the nectar points. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, well after many hours and days of putting stickers on the wall, drilling things, doing lots of little bits, I'm finally at a place where I'm happy with my setup. It's not completely finished. Still got a bit more to do, but it's a point where I can actually make videos and I'm, uh, I'm happy with what I've done on it so far. Uh, I've got, I'm going away this weekend to Ireland for Hashtag United, first ever abroad game, getting ready for that big America trip. So I'm going to have to leave it here. Let me show you what I've done. So guys, this is what we're dealing with. I know the first thing you're going to say, why is there areas where there isn't any stickers? Well, that's what I said about not being completely finished. But the thing is, when I'm actually sitting on my seat in the camera, you won't actually see those gaps right away. So uh, it kind of works for now. Let's go through each individual thing. This sort of um, little shelving unit was at my old place. Don't go changing sign was there as well. That lights up like so. So that's all been uh, carried over along with the Wembley Cup and everything. I've got my West Ham seat. Looks pretty cool like that. Got my England cap there from the charity game. Finally got this attached to the wall with bowling ground sign. And also my picture here of um, the old Upton Park stadium, which I really like, and that's back on the wall now, obviously surrounded by stickers. This is the cheeky little thing that my brother got me when I hit a million subscribers, when odds are one in a million, be that one. That's now on the wall, so I'm really happy with. I've got one of my Spencer FC Q cards, I've got one of the hashtag United um, fun items that EA gave me, that's on the wall as well. Loads of stickers. Um, now, this piece here is really interesting. I love this. I ordered a couple of them recently. Let me tell you what they are. Okay, it's called the Football Mishmash History of Socket in One Image by a guy called Alex Bennett. It's basically like, where's Wally for football? Loads of different things going on. Let me find an example. Okay, so here we've got an image of Gary Lineker in his underpants. That corresponds to one of these many things written on the side. The idea is just to find it and tick it. I think the Gary Lineker one is here, so I've already found it, so I've ticked it. But I've got all these still to find. That looks like Valderrama. We've got Why Always Me from Balotelli. Um, there's so much stuff in here. Like, it's literally, it could take you hours to go through it all. No totty, no party. You told us to come back when we've 118, well we're back. So I'm gonna have a lot of fun going through all these 
and uh, trying to find it was another one I found there. Smithy coaches England on comic relief. Yes, I did find that one. Where was that? That was there. James Corden as Smithy. So there's loads of stuff to do. And what I like about it is it kind of blends quite nicely in with the stickers. You've got the white frame around it where obviously I've got the key that tells me where all the images are. But um, it looks decent, I think. Moving on, we've got my Real Oviedo sort of banner that I was sent from the Oviedo guys. I really like that. That's taking up a lot of room there and it's pride of place. More stickers, more stickers. Here we have the Wembley Cup uh, 2015 shirt. I haven't done anything with my 2016 shirt yet, but that's there. It's a commemorative plate at the bottom there that says Wembley Cup 2015, Spencer FC 5, Simon United 2. I've got my special item that EA gave me at the FIFA 17 launch event. Still a little bit annoyed I'm down as a right back, but I did play right back in the Wembley Cup 2016, so you can't really argue with it. And I still think I should swap my pace and passing stats because I'm not that fast. Now, there's some specific stickers I want to show you. First of all, if you've been watching Wheel of Fortune, you'll remember this guy, Brosovic. He has been banging them in, and he's got a sticker on the wall. Likewise, in the section over here, which is all West Ham related, you'll see there's loads of West Ham stickers, starting off with the West Ham badge, we've got some West Ham kits, we've got the West Ham team, we've got shiny Mark Noble, we've got Dimitri Payet, boo! We've got Winston Reid, we've got Adrian, we've got Kiate, we've got Ayu, we've got Collins, we've got Creswell, we've got another Dimitri Payet. <clears throat> Whilst we're on the subject of Dimitri Payet, a lot of you have been asking me to do like an IMO, talking about it, and, um, well, I am going to be doing it, but a different kind of IMO. Starting the Monday coming, so like a couple days from now, is a brand new IMO live show. It's a studio show. It's what I've always wanted to do with IMO. When I first started it, obviously standing for In My Opinion, it was me giving my football opinion on various things. But I always saw it as a show that wasn't going to be just about my opinion, wasn't going to be just about your guys' opinion in the comments, but was also going to incorporate guests and their opinion as well. And that's what we're going to start doing. So there's going to be a lot of different people talking football, not just my viewpoint. I'm really excited. The idea is to take the sort of production value of the show, you know, up a level, which is what I always try and do with my shows and stuff. So um, I'm really excited for it. Monday, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. live on this channel. But obviously, if you can't see it and you miss it, it will become a video afterwards that you can watch. So there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to watch it. And we're going to be doing them weekly from now on. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think on the video. Like I say though guys, other than that, I have just replicated my setup from my old house. I've got my iMac for game capture, for just doing my general work, emails, editing, whatever. I've got my PC, which is for when I stream. I've got that mic for when I stream, webcam on top for when I stream. And I've got my TV here, which is what I actually watch the FIFA on when I play it. Um, this is my lovely mouse. I love this mouse. I saw it in Retin Link, Good Mythical Morning, and I've been using it ever since. It's decent. It's called the mouse. Blue mic, I believe, yeah, made by Blue. Um, it's, not, it's not cheap, but it's top quality. Got these lights up here, which are decent. I've got them tilted away from me right now because it means we don't get any glare on the stickers. If I tilt it, I'll show you. If I tilt it towards me, it lights the room up really well, like so. But you see, you get these bits of glare here and here, and even though the, the actual framed bits are alright, some of the shiny stickers show up a little bit. So I've got a few options there, but I don't like the glare too much. So I think when I'm filming in that way, I'll just uh, flip these bad boys around like this. The room's still light enough. Also guys, one question I often get is what game capture do I use? I do use the Elgato HD60 and they've actually literally just sent me my own version of it. Look at this. Look at this bad boy. How cool is that? I mean, let me show you what a normal one looks like. Here's my normal one down here that's all set up, ready to go, but obviously that's going to be swapped out pretty soon for my brand new Spencer FC one. I'm absolutely loving that, so shout out to Elgato for sending it. If you do want to find out more about uh, Elgato game captures and you want to get one for yourself, there's a link in the description. Now here I'm sitting in my chair and you can sort of see what I see when I'm doing a video. Um, Wheel of Fortune set up slightly different. I mean, I've not actually recorded anything in this room myself yet, but I'm trying to replicate the setup I had in the old place. Wheel of Fortune, I'll be a bit further back, obviously I'd have the wheel somewhere around here, but for another like FIFA video, or chatting to the camera video, I'd be here. Now, still got to put the hashtag lad somewhere actually, we'll sort that out in a minute. So this is what I see, um, let's take a closer look. Right, so you can see on this sort of wider shot, which is as wide as the camera goes, I've got a few areas of white here, the stickers aren't covering, I've still got a bit of work to do. What we could do though is we could zoom in a little bit, like so, and the whole place will be covered in stickers. Let's see what it actually looks like on the camera. So like I say guys, the set's not quite finished yet, it's quite zoomed in right now, we're not getting all of the uh, hashtag mascot, we're not getting all of the Wembley Cups, we need to go a little bit wider to really get the room in, but then if we do that, 
we haven't got enough stickers right now. So we can improve that in time. But imagine stickers all down the sides here and uh, just completely done. I think it will look decent. Let me know what you think of the new look. So that's the office in there. If we go into the next room, a bit empty at the moment, but you'll see my other mishmash I bought, which is a West Ham specific one. Same guy did it. Loads of different West Ham moments in here, like final game at the bowling when we beat Man United 3-2. So that's got all the same key at the side again. It's really cool little football memorabilia. I rate it. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. I hope you like my new setup. It's kind of like a mix of an old setup. Remember I used to have those stickers back when I lived at two houses ago. And then I had the AstroTurf for the old one. Now I've gone back with these again. It's just on a bigger scale. So let me know if you've got any suggestions for anything else I could put in this new setup. I don't want to have too much stuff because this back wall is already reasonably crowded with memorabilia. But um, I've got these walls at the side which aren't in shot but could still get some bits put on there just for, to make the office feel a little bit you know, more cosy. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please drop a like on it, subscribe for more. Make sure you keep a look out for Monday, 7 till 8 p.m., brand new IMO Live. I can't wait for it. And I'll see you on the next one. Until then, don't go changing. Don't forget to hashtag it. Bye-bye.